backup for a few years. Guys like Shields and Charles Smith. And again, there are your matchups as we get ready to tip this thing off. The Aggies going with a little bit shorter match, uh, a lineup tonight. Sean Shaky Harrington and William Chewy Johnson getting the call out front for New Mexico State. Probably because the Lobos are also going with the smaller lineup. Tip is controlled by New Mexico, and we're underway. Three guard lineup for New Mexico. Tabasi Franklin around. Charles Smith in the corner. Aggies in a man to man. You don't see that much. Smith in the corner. We're going to have a travel. Remember those 28 turnovers charged to New Mexico at Arizona State. This is a series that goes way, way back. Started in 1904. New Mexico leads the series 90 to 84, but the Aggies have closed the gap in recent years. The Lobos have a lot to prove, like you said. These, a lot of these players have been on the team that lost four in a row. And we're going to have a traveling call on Chewy Johnson. The matchup zone just hasn't been the same for the Aggies this year. Well, the way they like to play it, they have to have five very quick athletes on the floor at all times, and you need to have a lot of guys, 6'7", six, 6'8", six, who really can be active. Jump hook by Kenny Thomas, no good, offensive board. Follow no good by Shields, but he gets it the second time. That's one of the problems the Aggies have, Mike. They don't have anyone who's gonna go in there and get them 10, 15 rebounds a game. Mexico up two zip. Spelling Davis around to Levon, looking against Smith. Here's David Gibson now, the sophomore from Sandia High School in Albuquerque. Had a huge bucket at Arizona State. Shields looking inside, Kenny Thomas double team. They get it back out to Gibson now, shot clock at 15. Spider Smith with the layup. What a long reach! Well, what happened that time, as Kenny Thomas moved closer to the free throw lane, it really opened up the middle, and Spider took advantage of it. Shields with two, Smith with two. Remember, these Aggies have not played in front of a crowd like this before. Harrington drives in, and he is fouled out front by Spider Smith. And that's an interesting matchup. I'm not sure how long those two will be playing each other, but each of them has an advantage of sorts on the offensive end. One of the things Spider has to do, he has to keep Shaky in front of him, and as Harrington moves closer to him, Spider has to back up because of Spider's jump ability. He can always get a hand up on the shot. This shot by State, rebound by Smith, and here they come. Three point try, no, inside to Thomas, spinning. Can't get the roll. Gets it back. One too many moves, but he gets the jump hook to go. Kenny's been very active the first uh, few possessions. The Aggies cannot continue to let him catch the ball in the paint because they do not have a shot blocker who can throw it the other way. Something they have had every year since I can remember. 6-0 New Mexico just underway from the pit. Harrington inside the lane. That's short. Franklin will bring it out. And it's tipped out of bounds. New Mexico State has yet to get a real good shot off. Mike, I would continue to work the ball inside the Kenny Thomas until the Aggies come up with a way to stop him. They'll have a blocking foul on Clayton Shields, so New Mexico State will bring it back the other way. First personal on Shields. Charles Smith also has one foul. And Dave Bliss trying to get over that hump. He's been 5-0 a couple of times. Uh, three times to be exact. Would love to go 6-0. Rudy Davalos, the athletic director of New Mexico, working the officials from the crowd. Spelling Davis will get the first bucket of the game for New Mexico State. 
except for Spider's lay-in, I think every shot that's gone in has banged around the rim, touched the backboard. Spider Smith hits the three. That's five now for the Spider. 9-2 our score. That's Lebon in the lane. Left-handed, it may have been partially blocked by Thomas. It's a five on one. Here's Shields. This is where the Aggies, you may look for them to get a timeout. They don't want this game to get away from them, Mike. A lot of these guys are not used to playing in uh, very tough environments like the pit. Johnson way outside. Whoa, hits the three-pointer. Or just hit a big three-point shot. Smith tries to answer in the lane. No. And Levon with the rebound. The Aggies can cut into that lead. Taking it himself. Three-pointer. Shields. Seven points already for Clayton Shields. It's a good thing that Clayton hit that because Kenny Thomas was all by himself and Spider had seen him for a dunk. 14-5 our score. Spelling Davis for three. It's not the shot the Aggies won. Enoch Davis inside and he hits. Second leading scorer in junior college ball in the country last season. He's someone whenever he gets off track earlier, early in a game, he's tough to stop down the stretch. Smith uses his body to shield himself against Lee Bond. That might be no contest there. So Smith has seven, shield seven. Whenever you say that a defender can't stop Spider one-on-one, -on -one, you know, that doesn't put him in an elite crowd. Not the way Spider's played this year, that's for sure. Harrington out there calling the play. Lebon's not a bad shooter. The lefty is corks it. It's in and out. Tipped up and back in. And give it to Enoch Davis. Yeah, I think you have to give it to Kenny Thomas there. One of the things Kenny can't do, just because there's no one out there taller than he is, he still needs to box out. Spelling Davis will give that too. No relation to Enoch. Now it's Kavasi Franklin. Good job by the Aggies on the board. 16-9. Here's Harrington. Enoch Davis. No whistle. There's the rebound by Shields. Gibson with the move and uses the right hand to lay it in. Can you see the difference between this and the Mexico State team? They don't have anyone back in the paint that can challenge the shots like that. So the Lobos, they can just take it right to the hole. 18-9. The Lobos have doubled the score now on the Aggies. Drew Johnson working against Franklin. Shaking and faking. Loses the ball. Gibson free on the right. He'll take it the distance, and he can't finish it, but he's fouled. A look at Mark Burnson, the acting head coach for New Mexico State. He's fouled, and with that, we will go to a break. 13 18 to go, and New Mexico on top of New Mexico State, 18 9. Well, we will be back on the air a week from tomorrow, December 16th, live from the Pan American Center in Las Cruces. The Lobos and the Aggies in the rematch. Join Nelson France and me for all the action. Lobo Central starts at 8, tip off at 8.30. Make a note of that time. Right here on Q13, New Mexico's sports leader. Gibson at the free throw line and the first one off the front of the rim. And David struggling at the free throw line this season, shooting 59%. Mike, uh, inside game is the key. New Mexico 12 points in the paint. The Aggies just four. The Lobos kicking them on the boards also. They've got eight. The Aggies just four. That's what the Aggies have to focus on is rebounds and keeping the ball out of the paint. Charles Gosa, freshman from the Phoenix area, into the lineup for the first time. He has the ball now, and he'll put it up in and out. And he's fouled by New Mexico. Greg Shorenstein in for the first time tonight for New Mexico, along with Royce Alden. Um, and I'm 
not sure if that foul was on Kenny Thomas or Greg Shortstop. They called it on uh, Thomas. Thomas was, uh, he was the same thing. He was asking the same question. Is that on me? Goes through the shoot two. Neil McCarthy signed two freshmen this year. Uh, the first time he has done that since 1989 as they went exclusively to the junior college ranks. Mark Bergson, former head coach at Southwest Missouri State, so he's been in this situation before, uh, not a stranger at all. The lead is now eight. Well, the Yankees have gone to their matchup zone now. Starts off a 1-1-3, and it quickly shifts to a 2-3. Royce only tries to stay hot and does. How can you keep that touch up from three days ago? Well, you have to keep your, you have to ice your elbow to start with. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about it later. It's, a lot of it's patented. It's We're not going to get into some of your old war stories. Are we? He's inside of the travel. He wants Davis. Davis is part of that uh, Chicago connection that the Aggies have used so well over the years. Uh, UTEP also used plenty of players from the greater Chicago area. Lead back up now, 11. And there's a look at Tobias Lampkin, 6'6", 210, a junior, also from Chicago. Looking inside for Thomas. Shortstein now. How difficult will it be to get the ball into Kenny Thomas in the matchup? I think it'll be very difficult because I think that's why the Aggies went to that, Mike. They were going to say, look, we have to stop their inside game. There's Shortstein with five seconds left on the shot clock. We'll have a foul pushing off on Royce Holman. 11.58 to go, 22-11 our score. We'll be back after this short timeout. Following basketball, get today's news from David Gonzalez and Sabrina Register. Complete weather and sports. It'll bring you up to date all the action in today's sports world with Van Tate as well. It's today's news at 10 here on Q13. Our score in the pit, 22-11. New Mexico off to a fast start. Side and the jump shot up and good. That's by Tobias Lampkin, his first basket. Each team now has five players that have gotten into the scoring column. Kenny Thomas takes a break. Daniel Santiago in. Good save that time by David Gibson. Smith for three. A little short. Aggies are running. Great hands, but it goes right back to Harrington. The lead is seven. This is the second time we've seen the Aggies uh, press. Last time the Lobos got a good shot. Just couldn't get it to go down. And now this is not New Mexico's best offensive unit out there right now. Do you agree, Nelson? I agree. Clayton already has seven tonight. He's on the bench. Good hands by the big guy, Daniel Santiago. Just as we say something about not a lot of offense. And the steal. When they take advantage of it, Shornstein brings it back out, and they'll reset it. Inside again, Santiago is fouled. Fouled by another freshman from Scottsdale. Scottsdale, Aaron Broats. Mike, when the Aggies played uh, the team that Lewis Lamar is playing for uh, Marathon Oil, they really had a hard time with the big trees that they had on the team. And Lewis Lamar, the former Lobo, is uh, here in attendance tonight. Smith will try again. A little bit too strong. And there's the steal. Santiago, dunk. I like the way that Spider, as soon as he got the ball, heads up, because if he had waited another half a second, Daniel would not have been open. Smith came into the ball game with 14 steals. Look at that long bomb. The rainbow, no good. Gosa will try it. And we'll have a whistle and a foul. A little bit of a push. And let's take a look at that last sequence. There's Spider. Good quick hands there. Notice how quick he gets rid of the basketball. Two dribbles, looks up. Oh, some legs. Those are <laughs> legs, yes. I, you know, Daniel reminds me a lot of Luke Longley uh, when Luke first came here. Still learning, they, they even uh, look a bit alike. I think Luke's still playing. 
some nights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. Of course, Luke Longley playing for the Chicago Bulls, doing pretty well, actually. His main problem, I think, is tax problems. <laughs> That's right. Rosa misses the second one, so the lead remains 10 for New Mexico. Shields is now checked in. He has the ball in the corner. Spider Smith out for now. Cross court to Shorenstein. And we're going to have a whistle of three seconds on Santiago. There's no argument there because I counted about five. You didn't know I could count I, that. I didn't want to <laughs> say anything. That's why there's a little dead air there. Enoch Davis has returned for state. Also, Lebon is in. Chewy Johnson also getting ready to come back to the Mexico State. This is play number one. Let's see how it shakes down. Good battle inside with Joe St. Schwartz. A little bit short of the jump shot. And they'll say it's off to Mexico State. Well, we kind of miss uh, Neil McCarthy here. There haven't you know, the crowd hasn't been on the Aggie bench as we take a look at the turnovers. It's not quite the same without Neil here. Yeah, I bet the refs really noticed the difference. <laughs> Although Mark Burnson got after David Hall a little bit after that last ball was tipped out of bounds. Yeah, he still didn't do it McCarthy way though. <laughs> David gives it off to Olney, and it's tipped out. Here come the Aggies once more. Harrington tipped away by Gibson, and now Johnson will bring it around. Lebon, three-point try, and it'll bounce out of bounds there. So far this season, New Mexico sh State is shooting 43% from the field. The Lobos, 10% better at 53%. And the difference may be attributable to the big guys, I suppose, that the Lobos have inside. Lobos do get their fair share of pretty easy shots. Shield hangs? No. Lebon on top of him. Hey, Lebon did a good job of playing Clayton that time. He just didn't expect Clayton to be able to stay in the air that long. Watch on the replay here. Nice spin move by Clayton. He goes up. He's still guarded, though, and he just hangs up there a little long, and whenever you're reaching in like that, foul's going to get called. Lebon is from Slovenia, a sophomore for the Aggies. He toured the States a few years ago at the Slovenian national team and uh, played BYU and some other colleges in exhibition games, in exhibition games. And now New Mexico has its biggest lead, 27-16. David Gibson will take a break, his first time on the bench, and David uh, continuing to lead New Mexico in minutes played. Like Shields with eight. Johnson resets it now. The Lobos have been in a man to man all night long. Whoa, that's Greg Brown range there. Yeah, in different fact, result. <laughs> in fact, somewhat reminiscent of the shot Greg took against UTEP here, right on the X in New Mexico. There's the field goal percentage, and that's almost pretty much what they've been shooting all season. Aggies are taking a lot of three-point shots with hands in their face. They can get better shots. I think they'll be a little more patient. Oh, great position inside. The strong dunk by Thomas. Now that's a good job of Kenny using his strength to get open without pushing off. We've seen him called for pushing off a few times this year. Thomas with four. Crowd wanted to travel, but it looked like he kept his pivot foot on the ground. And we'll have a little bit of late call, but it's a foul on Shields, and he doesn't argue. I don't think the fans really care whether he keeps his pivot foot in place or not. Like you were right, they wanted a traveling call. We'll take a break with 7.59 to go in the first half, and the low ball is up by 13. Underneath its own basket now. 
Chewy Johnson looking for help. And now he'll get it back. When's the last time you've seen the Aggies play 12 minutes and only have three team fouls? And that's part of the reason why right there, as far as the low score, that's part of the reason why right there with one of six from three-point range. But you're right, it's not quite that, not even close to that swarming defense that we have seen in the past. Look at Dave Bliss there in his eighth season at New Mexico. 149 wins, 78 losses. Rebound a little bit strong. Mike, the Aggies have uh, caught up uh, in the rebound column. They're only down two right now, 10 to 12. Saw by those numbers, a pretty good free throw shooter for the most part. Gets the second one. John Simpson also now seeing some playing time for the Lobos. Smith off the screen. Lobos have gone cold here the last few minutes, although they've been able to maintain that lead. Good move by Davis. He will be fouled as he gets to the three-point line. Fourth team foul on New Mexico State. I like the way Kenny, when he gets a rebound, gets it above his head and uh, takes his time, finds someone open, and usually hits them in stride. He's very good with that outlet pass, and, and that time the Lobos really failed to, to get open so he could hit him on that uh, outlet pass because it was uh, they did have a potential fast break opportunity. Royce only has checked back in, and now the Lobos go with that small three-guard lineup of Gibson, Alney, and Franklin. Inside, it's Simpson and Thomas. Good position again by Thomas. The block, fighting for it, and we'll have a jump ball. Aggies will get it on the possession arrow. You see Kenny tapping his chest there saying, my bad, my bad. Whenever he catches the ball in there like that, he knows it's his job to score, and he should. to 10. Good for Scott Harrington. Oh, what a difficult shot. He shakes his head, yeah. <laughs> Royce only sets up. It's the tray. Only now with six on a couple of three-pointers. In fact, he's shooting better from three-point range. Yeah, he's shooting 58% from three-point range. His deuce is only 40%. Is there an explanation for that? As Johnson spins inside again, and we'll have a whistle and a foul on Thomas again. You give me long enough, I'll make something up. <laughs> and let's see now the 18th foul on New Mexico, so we're in the one and one, and Harrington will get that bonus. the first, won't get the second. Back to that man-to-man -man for State. Been quite a bit tonight. And it'll be uh, off New Mexico State. Bad pass that time by Kenny Thomas. Yeah, they, uh, he was too close to Cavassi on that. It's more of a handoff, and those don't work. But don't let that mislead you, because Kenny Thomas is a very good passer for a big man. Here's Olney. Franklin, he'll try the three. And Enoch Davis with the big rebound for State. Well, he just out jumped Sean Simpson. Actually, Sean was flat footed because Sean had position that time. Harrington again going one on one. And he pulls it away. You see, Royce did a good job keeping his feet down, and as Harrington drove, he just continued to back up, because what Harrington is looking is for you to challenge his quickness, and then he'll blow by you. Nicholas looking to end that four-game losing streak against the Aggies. Good first step. Can't quite finish it, but Thomas will go to the line. That is a very strong and quick drop step by Kenny Thomas. Watch out kick. 
He catches it. You see him drop that foot there. Now, once he does that, he has position. Then he jumps back into the player, and that eliminates any chance of a block shot. It's a wonderful move for a freshman. Of course, many of you, uh, probably all of you, know the Kenny Thomas saga fighting against the NCAA to keep his eligibility. There will be a court hearing on Monday along that ma uh, on that matter as Thomas hits them both. And as many of you know, my broadcast partner is representing the University of New Mexico uh, in this situation. 34-19, New Mexico leads it. Vegas lead for the Lobos. Aggies just haven't been able to get anything going offensively. Harrington, three-pointer, way too easy. Seven points now for Sean Shaky Harrington. He'd rather drive it, but if you leave him that wide open, he will take it, and he has a nice shot. Go into Simpson now. He'll try to do something one-on-one. -on -one. Gets good position. He'll try it again, and dunks it. That's his shot. That's more his range. The first one was just a little bit out of his range. <laughs> just kidding, Sean. <laughs> 4.27 to go, 36-22. As we approach the end of the first half, and now Burnson wants a 20-second timeout. Each team gets 120 in the first half, and this might be a good time to use that. Yeah, especially because you can't carry it over into the second half, so you might as well see the drop step there, learn something from the freshman, and just, I don't know how that one didn't go in. Well, as you said, it was too far out. <laughs> Bench scoring tonight, New Mexico with 12, New Mexico State with 5, and that's a role reversal for previous years. Now the Aggies usually go about 10 deep, and you never knew who was going to be their leading scorer. It could be any one of those 10 players. That's a great stat that you just saw in the Aggies, uh, one of the best programs in the country in the 90s. Bond against Aldney. A little three-man weave here. Room, he'll pop. Too strong. Here come the Lobos quickly to Gibson. Here's Kenny Thomas. And he lost control of it and volleyballed it up. Now the Aggies come back down. It'll be a foul on Gibson. That was an unusual... Will that go as a, uh, a shot attempt by Kenny Thomas? I don't know what it's going to go for. Good for a little glass damage. But you know what? He may have realized that he was in bad position. See if he doesn't try and throw himself a pass off the glass. Nope. Well, I don't know what he was doing. Yeah, I think he just lost control and tried to keep it alive. Spelling Davis will sit for State. Roach has rejoined the lineup. Johnson misses the first one. You know, Coach Burnson even claps similar to uh, Coach McCarthy. 3.50 to go in the first half. The Lobos up 36-23. We'll be right back. 36-23 is our score with 3.50 to go in the first half. Glad you could be with us tonight. Mike Powers along with Nelson France. Live from the pits, standing room only. Lobos are 5-0 after wins over Simon Frazier, Texas Arlington, Mercer, Texas Pan American, and then the big one the other night at Arizona State. Lobos with the big edge in field goal percentage, taking seven more shots as well. That's because of the turnovers, the Aggies seven turnovers, Mike, the Lobos just three. What a difference. Thomas again inside, and they're going to say a push on Broach. And that will only be the 16th foul, so the Lobos will play it in. This is a, almost a no contest here with the strength of Kenny Thomas. Aggies go for the double team, doesn't work, now back out. 
Rossi Franklin. Here's Steele, needs some help, and then throws it away. Good hustle by Harrington. Blocked by Aldi. No whistle. Harrington went down hard, and he's still down, and they're going to call an official's timeout. Harrington was driven hard into the into the post, and I hope he's okay. Watch what happens. Roy ti Royce times this perfectly, catches it. And it may have been more of his momentum than, than Royce pushing him. Well, there's definite contact, though. And Harrington is still down. over talking to him. I think he's uh, holding his stomach a little bit. And we hope it's only the wind knocked out of him. And Harrington will stay in the ball game. That's good news. How can a guy that size at 5'11", which may be stretching it, uh, get four rebounds in a game like this? That's, a, that's how many I had in my career. Thank you. What he does is a good job. He sees the ball and he goes after it because with teams shooting a lot of threes nowadays, you're going to have a lot of long rebounds, and usually that's who just wants it the most. Harrington, or at least his coach, has second thoughts, so he'll sit down, and Charles Gosat comes back in. His brother Damian played at UTEP a couple of years ago. Wide open, all knee. And Royce has found his touch. That was a nice inside outside play by the Lobos. You get the ball inside, the defense will collapse around it. Guys will be open for the train. 39-23, Alney with nine on three three-pointers. State slowing things down now. Enoch Davis trying to get the ball posting down low. Broke, three-pointer. And again, a bad so a shot selection by State. Lost Shortstein, Franklin in the corner. And reset it now. Aldi again. Bingo! See the way the Lobos reversed the ball quickly. They got it over to Kavasi in one corner. Two quick passes. They found Royce open. And Bernson called the timeout. Aldi with four three-pointers, and the Lobos have their biggest lead at 19. 42-23. It's been a long time since the Lobos have heard from Spider Smith, Mike. They've extended the lead with him on the bench. Well, that's a luxury that Dave Bliss has tonight, as we talked about a little bit in our open to the game. Smith has played well against the Aggies in the first half during his career, but in the second half, his production has fallen way, at, way off. That was the inside-outside. See? See Royce? He leaves his hand in that gooseneck position, making sure he had good follow-through. There you see the other one. See the gooseneck? I just didn't know what you called it. That's <laughs> what it is? It the is follow -through now. follow-through is the gooseneck. Now it is. I just hope that's not a cliche. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll probably find out if it is. <laughs> Royce is now four of five from three-point range. And it's kind of ironic because I should, probably shouldn't tell this story, but, but we were talking before the Arizona State game at their uh, practice on Monday night. How it just didn't seem like Royce had that natural touch. Uh, you know, uh, would he be able to, to be a big-time shooter and he goes out the next night you remember us talking about that don't you uh, no uh -uh. <laughs> and he goes out and uh, gets off and from just about everywhere well, I'm going to deny that <laughs> I guess it's your word against mine we have a hold on Franklin and 19 fouls no make that 10 team fouls on New Mexico so the Aggies will be shooting at least uh, will be shooting two shots the rest of the way in the half that's Cavassi's second foul. Harrington, one of those players 
from Chicago had a, uh, I don't want to say a bit role because it was a documentary, but he was in uh, Hoop Dreams, the uh, popular doc documentary that's been out for a year and a half or so. And he gets the second. With that, the horn sounds and Spelling Davis checks in. The Lobos have not had any trouble uh, with the Aggie pressure so far tonight. Only bringing it down, gets it across the timeline. 141 and counting left, first half. Looking for Thomas again inside. Bring it back out, working a little clock. Gibson had good position, or rather uh, Thomas did. Need to be a little bit quicker getting it into Kenny. Shortstein off the glass. He tried to pass it inside. It was deflected. Wasted opportunity there. He knocked Davis. And he knocks it down. Well, the Aggies uh, nibbling into that lead, trying to uh, give themselves something positive as they go into the locker room. 42-28, less than a minute to go. Thomas now double teamed. Off the glass for two. That was a tough shot. That's always bad whenever as a de defensive player, you play it perfect and it just doesn't matter. Well, Kenny Thomas is 6'9 and about 240 or so. Just a load. Or so. I or so. Yeah. Harrington breaks away. Gibson has to help out. There's a, a whistle and a foul on Gibson. It's a little middle lapse on the Lobos part. You know that Harrington wants to take you to the hole and you do not want to foul him. Just keep him in front of him, give him a little gap because he's been able to knock his free throws down and uh, keep the Aggies uh, respectable here. Right. Twenty-six point seven seconds left in the half. that first one in and Charles Smith comes in now and Dave Bliss wants a 20 second timeout so Dave Bliss using his 20 second timeout probably to set up uh, one last shot do you think yeah use it or lose it here uh, he also wants to talk to his guys make sure one they do go just go for the one shot they'll probably want to put it up around five seconds left give Kenny and uh, Shorty a chance to get the offensive uh, rebound if it's missed but you don't want to give the Aggies time to get back and have a shot at the buzzer. No, we haven't seen, as, as you mentioned earlier, we haven't seen Charles Smith much here lately. And Clayton Shields. And um, they're getting plenty of rest as uh, they get ready for the second half. And both those guys picked up two fouls. And since the Lobos were, uh, or one, had a nice lead. And two, the guys that went in for them were playing well. No need to risk them getting a third foul. One of the negatives for New Mexico at Arizona State was not boxing out on the free throws the other night. And let's see if they do a better job of that tonight if Harrington misses, which he does not. Now the Aggies will more or less drop back to set up their defense. 44-30, the lead is now 14. Screen by Shorenstein, drops Harrington. 13 left in the half. Trying to set it for Spider Smith. Now they'll regroup. Now to seven. Spider looks up. Not much time. A long three-pointer. How do you like that? After sitting down for five or six minutes, Smith hits one from about 24. He was resting, Mike. He was resting. That was a big shot because they stayed on him and he just had to back up. That was a, a pro three-point shot. 47-30 our score at the half. Now the Lobos have blown big leads to the Aggies at the half before. We'll find out in a little bit if they can hang on this time. Again, the Lobos State by a score of 47-30. to And welcome back to the pit, everyone. Mike Powers along with Nelson France and Lobos have never trailed, trailed in this ballgame. It's been all theirs. And Lobos started out strong and then ended the half with Spiders long three to keep the momentum. 
All right, well, let's take a look at some of the best plays of the first half. Lobo's on the break early, and, and where's that Aggie defense on this particular play? Well, that's one of the things they used to could do. They could put that pressure on full court because they always got back. They didn't give up easy shots. Aggies haven't hit many threes. Uh, Chewy Johnson hits a long one there, though. Yeah, he shows that he's inside and outside. Great position by Kenny Thomas. He even gets fouled on that one there, but Kenny very strong. He's got good hands, hangs on the ball. One of the shots of the first half, that was an outstanding move by Harrington. And then the man comes in, Royce Alney, hitting four three-pointers, and the Lobos lead it by 47 to 30. Here's the scoring tonight. Sean Harrington leading the way for New Mexico State, followed by Enoch Davis with five, and then it uh, drops off considerably after Harrington, really. For the New Mexico Lobos, Alney leads the way with 12, Charles Smith with 10, and Thomas and Shields kind of a quiet eight each. And they both got theirs quick, except for Spider's late shot. Got in a little foul trouble, stayed on the bench. As far as the uh, statistics in the first half, the Lobos hitting 56% from the field. The Aggies only 38%. Free throws. New Mexico State has taken uh, quite a few more than the Lobos. Anything that jumps out at you there, Nelson, that's uh, to, important? One of the things is the offensive rebounds. The Aggies just had three, and in the past they would have, you know, close to 20 a game because they have all the athletes. They're all leapers, long arms and stuff. They just don't have that team. At this point against Arizona State, the Lobos had 18 turnovers. They only have three tonight. We'll take a break, come back with the opening uh, play of the second half with the Lobos up by 17. The year end well in that role, and he can come in and spark you with that hustle and also with three-point shots. Here are the lineups to start the second half. Joey Johnson, Enoch Davis, Spelling Davis in there. Also starting the second half is both John Lebon for the Aggies. Velocity Franklin has an opening. Reverse. Yeah. Lobo start quickly. Uh, Kenny cl cleared out a nice path that time to the hole for Kavasi. Harrington also in there, Sean Harrington, and Shields reaches over, and with 26 seconds gone in the, first, in the second half, Shields picks up his third foul. You get a look at it here with Shields reaching over the back, and I guess we won't, but Clayton now will sit down. An interesting stat that the Lobos uh, should note. Shields on the bench now. Greg Shortstein replaces him. Here's the steal. It's a three on two. And Spider finishes it. That's a good job by Spider of getting the angle. Because whenever you're running like that, being able to shoot off the glass is so much easier. I thought David gave it up a little bit early. Three point try. No good. Now the Lobos have another advantage. Shornstein lays it in. The Lobos getting the fast break going. I guess you're going to criticize Franklin now. <laughs> that was perfect. I agree with you earlier. You want to hold it like Kavasi did until your guy can get to the lane. Hey, layup. buddy, you don't have a lifetime contract here. I just want you to know that. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. 53-30, <laughs> biggest lead of the night for the Lobos, up to 23. Hesitates, drives in, and we're going to have an offensive foul. You know, the, the officials have been so quiet tonight, and it's just so unusual for the Lobo Aggie series. Usually there's bodies flying everywhere. Great position by David. Well, you talked with David Hall before the game. He said that these Aggies are not aware of how much of a rivalry they're in, and they don't play like most Aggies do when they come to the pit in terms of aggressiveness, intensity. Just haven't learned yet. Oh, Spider almost. Out of Johnson, he'll pull up. 15-footer, good. That was a tough shot. Made it look easy. One on three shows a lot of confidence by the player. 21-point advantage. Johnson with six points now. Kenny Thomas wanted that ball desperately. Three-point try by Gibson in and out. I 
like I think the Lobos can be a little more patient because eventually they need to get the ball inside to Kenny Thomas. Enoch Davis with a little hop and the short jumper of his own. He has seven. He averaged 32 points a game in junior college at Iowa Western. Jump on the other end, Kenny Thomas. That's a nice little shuffle pass that time by Cavassi. Inside, Davis again takes that big step, tries off the glass. And that's a rebound for Thomas, which haven't been too many for him in this game. He just had two the first half. Uh, a new post player in for the Lobos. <laughs> Let's see how Kenny Thomas got that last dunk. Make the defensive player commit there. Spelling Davis gets up in the air. And uh, once Kenny gets the ball that close, uh, he's got good, strong hands. Franklin's first of two is no good. He's from uh, Houston, Texas. Played at Howard College, Junior College. The same league with the New Mexico Junior College in Hobbs. Coach Bliss believes that eventually he'll settle down and be about an 80% free throw shooter. That's what he shot in junior college, and uh, he just needs to get more comfortable at D1 free throw line. It's the same distance. Gibson hustles down there, knocks the ball away from Spelling Davis. The Aggies will play it in. Lots of time on the shot clock. And again, uh, if you missed it earlier, Neil McCarthy not here tonight. The Aggie head coach had no surgery. Mark Burnson, his assistant, is acting head coach. And that one went off the bottom of the iron. A little bit embarrassing, I think, for Lebon. Spider Smith screaming for the ball on the far side. Kenny Thomas inside can't get the roll it'll be a reach in foul on number 12 William Chewy Johnson Kenny that time nice twirl around move that time Mike could have called the foul on either player second personal on Johnson Kenny Thomas for two shooting 69% this season I do think the Lobos uh, need to get better at feeding the postman because as you play against better defensive teams, you're only going to be open for a split second because they're not going to continue to play behind uh, Kenny Thomas. They have to learn whenever he's open to make the pass and get it there. He does such a wonderful job for a first-year player of getting the defender on his backside. That, that's not an easy thing to do. The lead, 57-34, New Mexico. Davis, short. Harrington, the little guy inside. Davis gets it back. We'll try again, leaning in. And there's Thomas with the rebound. <laughs> They'll call it on stage. That's a nice one-handed grab that time. And I'll tell you, that's a nice highlight for Kenny Thomas. But if you go a little bit before that, Kenny gets out-rebounded by Harrington. We're going to get to see the one-arm grab here by Kenny Thomas. He gets pushed and just one-arms it. Foul was on Broach, his third. And Lampkin has checked back in. A couple of the Aggies with uh, tattoos on their forearm. One of them has a, a Tasmanian Devil, I noticed in the media guide. There's Franklin pulling up and hitting the jump. That's Cavassi's game. The first half, he took a couple of three-point shots. He's more of a penetrate and pull up and shoot the shot. He shoots better than a standstill jumper, especially when he's beyond the three-point. Five points for Franklin. His average is six. Remember, he missed a couple of games, three games, as a matter of fact, with uh, an eye injury. And we'll have a kick, and they'll reset the shot. And we'll have a timeout as well. 15.36 to go. The Aggies are firmly uh, behind the Lobos, 59-34. Was in this contest. Just underway, uh, more or less in the second half. 15.36 to go. Aggies will play it in as we look at the field goal percentage. And from three-point range, Lobos with seven, almost 50%. State with just three of 11. Lobos in that zone right now. Torion. Not 
contact made. It bounces to Shorenstein. Rizzoli has come into the lineup. Kenny Thomas looks for him. Shields now back in. Flipped back out by Shorenstein, but he's over the back. It's the second Lobo foul that time. Oh hey, yeah, Shorenstein is, is leaping tonight. He had that nice driving layup, kind of hung in the air, and, and he got the foul that time, but must be the shoes this year, the new, uh, the new look shoes. Leaping? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Leaping, okay. I wish you'd have done the games when I played. <laughs> <laughs> well, you keep telling me about all those hammer dunks you had. <laughs> On the baseline, and a short little jump shot by Lampkin. Puts it in, and for Lampkin, he now has four points in the ballgame. Lobos dominating the bench scoring tonight. 20 for New Mexico, 10 for the Aggies. Thomas double teamed. He's going in anyway. And they're going to say offensive foul on Thomas. Well, there's no doubt that there's going to be some contact here. Let's see what happens. I think a little bit of acting by Broke. Not a lot of contact. Shorenstein will take a seat, and there's a look at Spider Smith back in. The Lobos with their three leading scores in the game right now. They total 35 points. Royce with 12, Kenny 11, and Spider with 12. Team inside. Jump shot. No good. Big rebound by Shields. He was averaging over eight a game all the way down to Smith. He hates it. He can't get it, but he'll go shoot two. One of the preseason magazines, uh, the Sporting News Preview magazine, rated Charles as the best leaper in the WAC. And I was kidding Charles about it when that came out. He says, I don't know how they got me. But he does leap as I use that word again. <laughs> he, he does. Accur <laughs> accurately, <laughs> accurately this time. This time. <laughs> he does have the jumps a little more than I thought he did. He can, he can get up there. It was between him and Shorty. Huh? <laughs> That's right. First one, no. Second one a little short, but it trickles through. And Spider Smith with 13. He's on course to replace Luke Longley as the all-time scoring leader at New Mexico. Of course, a long way to go. Harrington will throw it up as he slips. Lampkin thought about it. Hangs. A little short. He'll try it again. Can't get it. Tipped out to Gosa, who has it blocked, but it goes in anyway. Now that reminds you of the Aggie teams in recent history. A bunch of offensive rebounds. Right there, they may have matched their total that they had in the first half. Yeah. 60 to 38, our score. Lobos have really been able to run their offense basically the way they want to. They'll give and go and get the triple. That's one of the things that uh, the Lobos are going to need to do is whenever defenses start collapsing in on Kenny Thomas, they've got to make something happen. David, not a great three-point shooter, but he sliced to the bucket. Nice pass. Gibson with five. Long-range shot. No good that time by Torian. Here come the Lobos. Smith back out to Gibson. Easy penetration in the layup. So the sophomore from Albuquerque Sandia High School adds to his point total and the Lobos up now big 64-38. Harrington breaks free, pull up jumper, no. Gibson is just continually pushing it up. Might as well. Good hands by Shields. Needs some help now. And uh, what are they going to say? And we're going to have.
have a whistle and a foul. Ronnie Dixon made the call. Took him a long time to get around to us, but he, he whistled it, I think, on Aaron Broach. And that'll be four on him. Nice penetration by Spider. See how it happens here. Uh, Broat, uh, yeah, he was, he was chested him, and he just continued to move into him. Broat was a USA Today honorable mention All-American from Scottsdale, Arizona. Shields left alone. Can't do that. Three-pointer. Notice that the Aggies have not left Royce open for any threes here in the second half. 67-38. Lampkin fakes, throws a bad pass inside in traffic. Here comes Gibson sprinting down. The City High School sprint champion who stays at Sandia. The follow is good by Shields. I think they'll count it. A little chest dump from Aldi. And we're going to take another look at it, Nelson. Nice job finding the open man. Spider goes up there. Watch. No one boxes out that time. Clayton Shields. They boxed out uh, Santiago. They left him free. And he, uh, teams are going to learn they can't do that. Well, you can tell by the expression on Lampkin's face that he knew he made a mistake. That's his first foul. He can't complete the three-point play. And Gosa with the rebound. The lead is up now to 31. And now the 6-5 LeBron running the show out front. Gives it away to Harrington. Gosa drives in. Santiago helps out but got there a little bit late. And we're going to have a whistle. And let's see if, it, if it's on Shields. That'll be his fourth. And it's on Santiago. Count the basket. Here you go. Santiago gets over there but uh, reached in and clearly right on the arm. You gotta give those refs those calls they get right. You wanna make sure everyone recognizes it. 11.09 to go in the ball game tonight and the Lobos continue to lead it. 69-41, we'll be right back. fine programs, but you can see them tomorrow. Do South will be on at 4 p.m. Picket fences at 11.35 right here on Q13. There's our score. Hard to believe in this uh, mostly contested rivalry over the years. Only around the horn. There's Franklin. Santiago trying to get some position inside. One-handed shot. No good by Smith. Now the Yankees will run it out of there. Louis Johnson. Lobo's in a zone again. Gosa. Santiago can't hang on, and the follow by Davis. And Zenoc Davis with the follow. Maggie's coming alive on rebounds. It's tied up now. 20. I take that back. It's not tied up. Never mind. <laughs> And we're going to have a whistle away from the ball on Shields. That's number four. Clay Clayton just can't believe it. He is quickly out of the lineup and Shornstein in. Gibson replaces Alney. As you look at Shields, just still flabbergasted. I like the fact that the Lobos are getting some work on this zone here because uh, they'll probably need to have another defense besides their man-to-man -man as they get into whack play. Looking it around, talked about the bench scoring earlier, how it's been uh, almost all Lobos. Jack Davis in the corner. Aggies really don't have any zone busters, although that will do a good job of it. Zone busters in the traditional sense of uh, Skip McCoy, who's uh, doing uh, TV work tonight as well, or Keith Johnson, who is more of a penetrator, but, but guys like that who could, who could really work with them. Jeff um, was cool, is that right? That's right, yeah. And the whistle made inside. Kavasi Franklin will go shoot two. 
of the uh, way the breakers are. Santiago will sit down and Kenny Thomas checks back in. Thomas in the ball game tonight with 11 points. Continues to be the education of Daniel Santiago, I think. Uh, maybe Coach Bliss uh, didn't think he was quick enough on that last play inside. He's a, a young player that has come a long way in a couple of years from Del Norte High School. Spent last year at New Mexico Military Institute in Roswell and was one of the big surprises in the country, I think. A lot of schools were really starting to show some interest in him, and that's why I think the Lobos wanted to sign him uh, early. Quickly surprised a lot of people when they got him. Gosa will try. That'll be partially blocked by Thomas. Shornstein trying to get it out of there. It does. Now the Lobos have an advantage. Four on two. Franklin pulls up. No. And we'll have a whistle on Kavasi. Well, that was a the time there. You didn't get the ball into the center of the floor on the fast break. If you'd have done that, you probably would have been able to eventually work it over to Kenny for a dunk. You had a three-on-one. There was no way they could have stopped Kenny Thomas, but you didn't get the good angle. Very quick, Harrington. He just hasn't been able to break free much inside. Lampkin bangs it off the glass for two. Points now for Tobias Lampkin. 71-47. Spider off the screen. Good speed. I like that unselfish play too, Mike, because uh, Spider was open. He could have shot that off the glass. Lampkin for three. And a little bit of a step by Spider that time. Do you think Spider could play the point consistently for New Mexico? Has his uh, have his skills improved that much? I don't think so. I don't think he quite uh, handles the ball well enough uh, to to run the show. And also, whenever you uh, I mean, this doesn't go really as to whether he could or not. But if if he does that, he's just not going to get the shots. I'm not saying they need another point guard because Gibson and Franklin have been doing uh, the Omen's work. Good reverse by Davis. 13 points now for Enoch Davis. Leading score for New Mexico State. Almost have played smart basketball tonight. They haven't forced the action too much. They've taken what the Aggies have given them. And we'll have a blocking foul on Lampkin. Off comes the jacket now for Burnson on the sidelines. Unhappy with the call. And New Mexico is now in the one and one. Second foul on Lampkin. And that's the 19th foul on New Mexico State. So after this, the Lobos will be shooting two free throws. Lobos without the services of Steve Lewis tonight. Junior guard uh, has been given a leave of absence by Coach Dave Bliss. Uh, the two have kind of had, I guess, uh, a little bit of a skirmish over Steve's playing time, and uh, there's a very strong possibility Steve Lewis will not rejoin the Lobos. I'll tell you what, what you have to realize is uh, you're not the boss. Whenever uh, the coach comes up with what your role is going to be, you need to fit into that position. Time out on the floor, media timeout, and we'll take a break along with it with the Lobos in command, 75-49. Lobo Basketball is brought to you by your local Jeep and Eagle dealer. Here. There's the numbers from the pit with 7.44 to go. The Lobos up big, 75-49. Robos, as we mentioned, have never trailed in this ball game. This game firmly in hand for the Lobos. How important is it for New Mexico State to finish up strong because these two teams play again next week. Get a little bit of a positive feel before the rematch in, Pan in the Pan Am. That's a good point. I mean, the Aggies uh, obviously want to lead this with a little bit of confidence. Uh, on the other hand, when they have the Lobos go into it, they go to the Pan American Center. They need to realize they're going to be in for a battle. Lampkin with the offensive rebound. 
75-51 our score now. Lampkin have a, having a pretty good second half now with eight points. The Aggies also pick up a new player uh, a, next week. That's a very good point. Marquise Burns will become eligible. He played a couple of years at UCLA, and um, he will definitely be a welcome addition for Neil McCarthy. And Coach McCarthy could very well be back on the bench, too, so uh, it will not be a uh, romp through the park. Smith now to shoot the two free throws at the line. It's the first one. The last foul was on Lee Bond. He has three. Fighter Smith up to 16 points. Steady as she goes for Charles Smith this year. He's only had uh, one off game. Lobo's back into that 2-3 zone, Mike. Now, is this more or less for, for practice to get comfortable with it uh, down the road to get some wacky practice? Yes, the Lobo's been moving out of practice. This is the kind of the first chance that Coach Perez Collins, one, felt comfortable with it and also had a comfortable enough lead to, to use it. Charles Gosa got sandwiched in between a couple of Lobos and the officials say it was off him. Coach Bliss now wants a 20-second timeout. And any thoughts on, on why Coach Bliss would use it right now? Yeah, I don't know whether, you know, one of the things that he wanted to make a substitution, but it doesn't look like he's going to do that. Uh, the other thing maybe is just to kind of get him going. They've got uh, six minutes and 21 seconds to go here, and he wants him to play hard. He doesn't want him just to uh, accept the victory because one of the things Coach Bliss likes to do is use these games to get better, and the only way you can get better is if you continue to play hard. Again, there's a look at acting head coach Mark Burnson. And uh, you were pointing, you saw what happened to, to Lonnie Dixon here, who has whistled and stopped play. Did you see what happened? Yeah, uh, the Aggie cheerleaders were, uh, the male cheerleaders were throwing the female cheerleaders up in the air, and one of them landed, literally landed on Lonnie Dixon. I don't expect the Aggies to get any good calls from him for us tonight. Lobos are hoping that Lonnie will be at the Pan Am a week from tomorrow. Hope he's all right. Yeah. It looks like he's... Lobo trainer comes on over to see if he needs any help. Now he's smiling. And, uh, and Burnson went over and shook the cheerleader's hand. I guess it's kind of a joke to congratulate her for hitting Dixon, I guess. The crowd here didn't think it was too funny. They can cut off on the baseline by Gosa. This has been a tough fall for New Mexico State. As an offensive foul is called on the Lobos. By Lonnie Dixon. <laughs> Maybe you got hit a little too hard here. <laughs> Not sure who's... Anyway, of course, the Aggies uh, under investigation by the NCAA. That should be resolved next month sometime, first of the year. They fully expect to be on probation. And maybe lose uh, a year or two of postseason play. Maybe put some self-imposed penalties on themselves. The NCAA, of course, will have the final say. The historian pops from way outside a three-pointer. Is that his first bucket? Yes, it is. Yeah. He's been kind of silent tonight. He's got a nice shot. Well, we were told coming in that he is a good shooter. Oh. Spinning around, Harrington on him. Smith fakes and decides to take the baseline. No good. Shorenstein is hit, but no call. A couple of... Uh, for the whistle to blow, but no. Long range jump shot again. Torian getting on track a little bit now. And the lead is down to 20, 77-57. And 
now Dave Bliss over there yelling for a timeout, and he'll take a full timeout this time with 4.43 to go. The Lobo lead has slipped down to 20. Long. 4.43 to go, and the Lobos' uh, once 31 point lead is now down to 20. You mentioned something during the timeout where you don't want to let the Aggies, if you're a Lobo fan, you don't want to let them have a little confidence now and let them think that, hey, we finally got comfortable and we can play with these guys. That's exactly right. It'll just make winning in Las Cruces that much tougher. Shot clock down to 12. They had trouble getting it in to Kenny Thomas. Smith fakes. Oh, what a move! Just waited for the defender to fly by. 19 points for Smith. Two below his average now. Well, Coach Bliss has seen all the zoning he wants tonight. Again, Torian. There's Smith wrestling for that rebound. And he'll go down to the other end and shoot two free throws. Yeah, that's one of the things that uh, Kenny will get better at, I think, is just realizing that every rebound has his name on it. I mean, like he had two the first half. He played 18 minutes. Uh, that shouldn't happen, especially against a team where uh, he's got the size and the height. Thing. So many positives about this young man from Albuquerque High School. Be the, the strongest Lobo I've seen. This is my 11th season. Uh, I don't know if, if you feel the same way or not, but Charlie Thomas was a strong player. A guy about the similar size, not quite as heavy, but Thomas just can steal balls from people. Go get them. Goes a three pointer. Yeah. Shows a little touch from the corner. Well, I, you know, I don't know. He's definitely up there in the top because he can do a lot of things that usually uh, younger players can't do because they haven't been on the weight program. Resetting the offense now. Great one step by Smith, but he lost it. The three-point shooting evening up a little bit now here in the second half. Now Davis looks around Schoenstein and lays it in. The lead is down to 19. The Aggies have pulled off some miracle comebacks here in this arena. This may be uh, too tall of an order. We're going to have an offensive foul pushing inside Thomas. Well, you know, there's a... I didn't get a seat at that time, but Coach Bliss does want Kenny Thomas playing more aggressively on offense. Let's see it here. Yes. Good call. Yes. And Lampkin walked down to the other end and shoots one and one. And those are fouls that Coach Bliss does not want Kenny getting. I thought the foul was called on him posting up because Coach Bliss does want him posting up a very strong and very aggressive. Lampkin taking his time at the free throw line, and that pays off. His mother has a uh, black belt in karate, talking about Lampkin. Probably uses that to keep Tobias in line. Gets them both. 81-64 now, with three minutes to go. There's Gibson, or into Thomas, rather. Gibson for three. Rebound, Kenny. You see how he showed the ball to the center of the lane without moving his feet, got a commitment, and quickly reversed around there. Plus here, he gets the rebound. He's going to make a fake. Boom, to the center. Drop step, goes up strong. And another thing that is a positive about Kenny Thomas is he's a very good free throw shooter. If you have a big man that's not a good free throw shooter, he's going to get fouled. It doesn't help you. That's a problem that Sean Simpson has, who uh, his playing time last year was limited in, in close ball games because of that fact. Thomas 
gets them both, and that is a season and career high for Kenny Thomas with 17 points. Lampkin will try it again, shooting over the top of Thomas. Batted out of bounds, and they'll say it will go to New Mexico State. Has Royce even attempted a three-point shot here in the second half? I'm not sure if he's attempted any shot. Maybe we can find that out. Yeah, I don't think he has. I mean, you know, he had four. I uh, set a new personal record for most three-pointers in a game. I think the Aggies have done a good job of knowing where Royce uh, only is. Double screen off that. Quickly shooting it up is Corian. And here comes Smith out of the pack. Charles Smith double pumps it and slams it home. The leaper in the whack. And the lead back up to 21, 85-64. Gosa made that uh, last time, not this time. Good offensive rebound. Give the freshman credit for the Aggies. Aaron broke. Kenny Thomas, uh, not very good position at the time. Gibson fakes and slides. We'll go to the line. You, you know, Mike, you get to shoot three free throws when you're fouled on a three. I think you got to get to shoot three or four whenever you take a tumble like that, you know? <laughs> three, if it's, you're barely tapped on your arm, you're only going to shoot one. <laughs> Something to consider. Navasi Franklin in for Charles Smith, and Charles will be done for the night. And we'll see Chris Paddock for the first time in a while. Chris <laughs> Paddock. Gets a big hand, a transfer, another one of those seven-footers for the Lobo. Another big night for Charles Smith. 21 points right on his average. And there's a look at Paddock. Gibson hits 86-66 now with less than two minutes to go. Good position by Enoch Davis. It's blocked by Paddock, but they're going to say a foul. Well, just give him one. Just give him one free throw that time. Wasn't a lot of contact. <laughs> Let's take a look at it here. Yeah, whenever you swing like that, you're swinging for the fence. <laughs> will be off next week. It's final weeks at the University of New Mexico. Final week. And then they will play the Aggies in Las Cruces on Saturday. And now New Mexico State will call timeout. 148 to go. 86-68 our score. We'll take a break and be back to wrap this ball game up. Goal line for two. You know, token pressure, that's what you say whenever the pressure's not being applied to you. And it's kind of <laughs> like a, a small headache. That's a headache that someone else has. So what you're saying is that any pressure is something you should be concerned about. No, I think more specifically that you wouldn't have gotten the ball up court at that time. <laughs> Only his first point of the second half. And he now has 14. His career high is 15, came against Utah last year here in the pit. Cross court, Broke inside, nice job. Paddock got up in the air that time. 88-70 our score. A lot of folks here in the pit have left, making their way home now. Clayton Shields hasn't had to dribble the ball much tonight, but he, but he has done a better job than he did at Arizona State. He's having a little flashbacks now of Arizona State. <laughs> a little dribbling exhibition. And the shot clock goes down to six. Let's see who puts up the shot. Olney! Yeah! Five three-pointers. Royce Olney now has a career high. 17 points. Oh, good lean in shot that time by Davis. 
41.5 left. The crowd starting to, uh, to chant, anticipating the final buzzer here now. With the Lobos about to end their four-game losing streak against New Mexico State. Shot clock down to 13. Now, will you say that uh, Neil McCarthy has ended his four-game winning streak? I don't know how that works. I, as Franklin misses the fadeaway, I'm not sure what the ruling is on that, whether this would count as a loss for him. Enoch Davis hits the three. With .9 seconds left, and that will do it. It's the biggest Lobo win in this series since 1981. The Lobos win it by a final score of 91-75. Dave Bliss uh, with the monkey off his back. Four-game losing streak is now over. We will be back now with the final word to find out our play of the game, so stay with us. Again, the Lobos win it big. Okay. 175 New Mexico victory puts the Lobos at 6-0. That's their best start. Their best start since the 1973-74 season. The New Mexico State Aggies now drop to 2-3. Both teams will kind of regroup, uh, get their thoughts together before they play again a week from tomorrow in the Pan American Center. Time now for our Kelly Lickers, the biggest, the best play of the game, and let's see what we found. Spider Smith driving and dishing. Kenny Thomas with the dunk, and for the second time, a Kenny Thomas dunk is our Kelly Lickers, the biggest, the best play of the ball game. Leading score for New Mexico tonight, Charles Smith with 21. Kenny Thomas and Royce only with 17 points each. Leading score in the game for New Mexico State, Enoch Davis with 22 points. So Nelson, your thoughts on tonight's ball game and a quick thought on what's going, what you anticipate will happen.